हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सुगर केन प्रोडक्शन एंड पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सो सुगर केन इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्रॉप एंड ग्लोबली इट इज अराउंड वन पॉइंट नाइन वन बिलियन चन वेयर द इंडिया अकाउंट्स सेकेंड पोजिशन आफ्टर ब्राजील ब्राजील इज प्रोड्यूसिंग सेवन फोर्टी सिक्स मिलियन टन्स अकाउंटिंग थर्टी नाइन परसेंट वेयर एज द इंडिया अकाउंट्स फॉर ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल सुगर केन प्रोडक्शन if we see the uh, crop calendar so sets is used for the growing and germination and establishment stage it takes 10 to 13 days and 150 to 350 days takes vegetative growth where tillering and stem elongation stage involves and 7 to 200 days takes in yield formation stage and whereas a ripening stage ripening stage is 15 to 70 70 days where the sugar accumulation usually take place so coming to the important pest so pest here we will be discussing on uh, two parts this sugar cane pest one will be the uh, borers and then second part we will be dealing uh, with the sucking insect and if any pest will be remaining that will be discussed in the third part that is the other pest like the uh, root uh, root pest and other soil pest so coming to the first phase early seed borer that is kylo infus cartulus symptoms of damage uh, mostly we will see uh, this pest usually uh, comes during march to july and here you can see adult near fore wing is uh, yellow in color and hind wing is yellow uh, white in color and larva here you can see how it is boring so this is the bore hole board hole which looks dirty and the dead hurt in 1 to 3 month old crop it generally early name itself denote that it uh, it damage the crop in a early stage of the crop so which can be here dead hurt means drying of the central shoot so this central shoot can be easily pulled out because it is an immature stage and the hole has been made so central shoot has been died and this central shoot will be easily pulled out and the important characteristics is that rotten portion of the straw get colored and dead hurts emits an offensive odor odor okay so coming to the tool or component of pest management so what in any of the pest in any of the crop what is the basic component in the pest management if you consider that is a physical method mechanical method cultural method biological method biological method includes botanical predator parasitoid pathogen pathogen mainly includes virus fungi bacteria protozoa which which is used to kill the insect so what are the other factors taken into consideration for pest management that is the ecology of pest pest surveillance and monitoring economic threshold level host plant resistant and behavioral method it is important to study the behavioral method to intervene any of the management practice and then the legal method legal method is uh, mostly important in case of the invasive insects so here you can see the important mechanical control practice are pheromone insect monitoring trap in the orchard then light trap weed management because some of the insect in off season they go on the alternate alternate weed crop uh, that is uh, weed beside the field so weed should also be managed and then mechanical weed control a forceful water spray and then yellow sticky trap in greenhouse so what is the benefit of monitoring what monitoring actually is so here you can see through the monitoring we can track the number of pest and natural enemies able to target pest management tactics at the correct time and we can enhance conservation of natural enemies and it indicates the efficacy of treatment if we do the monitoring it indicate if we apply uh, the any management tactics at a right time so it will indicate the efficacy of treatment and approaches to monitoring are direct count either you can directly count from the traps or you can damage you can estimate our prediction by the degree days 
सो हियर कम्स द बॉयोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल प्रिडेटर पैरासिटाइड पैथोजन सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वट इज प्रिडेटर एंड पैरासिटाइड मेनी प्लेसेज द डिफरेंसेस यूज टू बी आस तो प्रिडेटर आर विच कैच एंड डिवोर द इंसेक्ट जनरली देयर साइज विल बी ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन इट्स प्रे एंड पैरासिटाइड द साइज विल बी ऑलवेज स्मॉलर देन इट्स प्रे and it lays the egg inside the insect and it slowly it consumes the uh, host whereas the pathogen pathogen it causes diseases on its host so these are the three component in biological control so what are kind of biological control is actually so import of natural enemy and establish in the field this is called as a classical biological control in this we import the natural enemy from other countries and we establish in the field so this is classical biology another method is augmentative release where we enhance the number this can be done by two method that is inundative method and inoculative release in each season coming to the third is a conservative biological control it depends upon the local natural enemy the local natural enemy which is present in the field we conserve to that all these approaches require conservation of the natural enemy to be effective so now we have understood what is the tool of management so these are the management for the early suit uh, early suit borer so what is that early planting during the main season intercrop with dancha also lower the suit borer incidence trash mulching 10 to 15 cm thickness on 3 days after planting also reduce its damage and then earthing of 45 days after planting and removal and destroy of dead herds also is effective spray granulosis virus this is 10 raised to power 6 to 10 raised to power 7 twice first at 35 days after planting and second is 50 days after planting tachnid parasitoid stermiopsis inference at the rate of 125 gravid female from 30 to 50 days of planting can be applied and then oral application of savidol 4g at the rate of 12.5 kg or linden 10 10 g 12 kg plus 37.5 kg of sand per hectare is found to be effective and then soil application of chlorpyrifos at the rate 12.5 kg per hectare is also effective and then you can spray the chlorpyrifos 20 ec at the rate of 1000 ml per hectare and nsk 5% twice application is also effective so coming to the another pest is that internodal borer that is kylosaccharifagus indicus the family is a crambidae and order is lepidoptera this pest appear in the june to december and the symptom of damage includes larva bore at the nodal region and enter into the cell. so this is the node two node and between the two nodes is the region is called the internode so generally what happens the larva enter through the nodal region okay and enter into the stem and and it feed inside the stem so wherever it feeds the tissue turn red and the entry hole it plugged with the excreta coming to the host range if you see the sugarcane sorghum maize and pearl millet and rice are the its a host if uh, we consider the biology so adult brown color moth used to be there with white hind wing and then egg period lasts 3 days and egg are laid on the seed so these are the seed okay so egg are laid on the leaf seed and larval duration it is a 30 days and larva can be identified with the four violet stripe and light brown head so here you can see the one stripe and then two dorsal stripe and two lateral stri stripe either of the side so that is the four stripe you can able to easily identify pupal period last on the seven day the pupation also take place in the leaf seed now we'll see that how management of the internodal borer will be done so here some of the resistant variety has been recommended so these can be grown and collection and destroying of the egg periodically and detressing as we came to know that the egg, female lays egg on the uh, seed seed portion so we can do the detressing after 150 to 210 day after planting why we are telling the particular days because the, these days crop grows up and it comes in the 
uh, maturation stage. So the bottom leaves get dries up. So that dried leaf, if we remove, so that is called as a tea dressing. If we remove that leaf, we have a two advantages. We can remove the egg along with that. And as well as we can remove the pupa if it is in a stage, pupation stage. Avoid use of excessive nitrogen fertilizer. So it is a common practice. As very well we know that if we is uh, we apply more nitrogen, so there will be the profuse growth of the plant and it attracts the more sucking insect. Then we can use the egg parasitide trichogramma chylonis at the rate of 50,000 per hectare. Six release, uh, releases is uh, found to be effective. And fourth month onwards, we should do on each 15 days interval, okay? Then another larval parasitize, these are the larval parasitize, can be uh, used and pupal parasitize. So many of the exam, it is uh, the these option used to be given and they used to ask what is the larval parasitide, pupal parasitize and egg parasitize. So you should able to know that which one is the larval, which one is the egg parasitide, pupal parasitize. So many competitive exam like your NET and ARS, they used to ask. Coming to the top suit borer, Sirpophaga expertalis. This is a, a pyrostidae family. The order is a Lepidoptera. So generally it appears between June to December. So symptoms of damage, it is red tunnel in the midrib of the leaves. So in cortex, uh, the leaf, leaf generally, the main vein will be there. It will turn red color. So you can easily identify that here. The top suit borer damage is there. Then again, the next symptom of damage is dead hurt in grown-up canes, which cannot be easily pulled. And dead hurt with red is brown in color and bunchy top due to growth of the side suit. So here you can see that tillering of the side suit happens. So bunchy top, it gives bunchy top appearance. So this is due to the top borer. Coming to the host range, the sugar can millet and other grasses are its uh, another host. And if we can see, see the biology, so adult are white colored moth, egg period loss 6 to 11 days means egg will hatch in a larva in 6 to 11 days. Then larva will complete its life in 25 to 42 days based on the temperature and humidity and other external factor. Larva are chemi yellow with red mid dorsal line and pupa is 12 to 21 days. Pupation take place inside the moth. So coming to the management, these are the resistant variety which is recommended for the top suit borer management. We can collect and destroy the egg masses in ichneumonid parasitide. Isotema javensis at the rate of 100 pair per hectare is found to be effective. Then egg parasitize is there, telonomus beneficens, tetrasticus, snobi, and trichogramma minutum, and then larval parasitide. Goniogenesis indicus is there, Chylonus is there, then pupal parasitized, tetrasticus, Ayari is there. So these you need to remember. So this is all about we have taught today. Uh, we have learned today that about the borers. Uh, and in future uh, classes, we will be learning about the sucking paste as well as the uh, set damage and soil paste we will be learning. So to know uh, more about the future classes, you please subscribe the channel so that you will, you will be getting the update about the future classes and the paste. So here we will be learning a lot about the crop paste, cereal paste, vegetable paste, horticultural paste. So thank you very much for your uh, watching and your patience hearing.